My name is Ia. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. I want to share a song with you. It's called Broken Vessels. And for me, the metaphor of broken vessels um, reminds me of the Japanese pottery called Kinzuki. And it's a powerful metaphor in the sense that intentionally the potter has broken the vase and how it, whatever its shape may be and then it's being fixed and bound again using pure gold. Now for me, the metaphor is so close to heart as a therapist and as an artist and as a wounded healer. It's the belief that true gold um, is discovered when we're refined in and through um, sorrow, the grief journey, um, moments of tremendous challenge that forces us, whether we like it or not sometimes, into resilience, um, gives us an opportunity to discover inner truths, inner strengths, to cultivate community support. Um, and so for me, the song Broken Vessels inspire me in times in which I, I'm feeling down or discouraged. And as a believer, as someone that believes in a higher power, in a God who is journeying alongside me as I go through dark valleys, I find the song oh so tremendously comforting that I sense, you know, as I do my part in the healing process, in the reintegration of my story and reauthoring my life, um, whether through therapeutic conversations or through art or through music or through poetry, all of these expressive modalities to try to bring meaning making when we're going through suffering and pain. Um, that I'm not alone in this reintegration process, that God is with me and for me, I can only speak for myself. It is of tremendous power and builds within myself a deep, resilient hope. Um, so here is Broken Vessels. And as I play, um, my little donkey will be joining us. I didn't want to be on YouTube by myself. I felt like a little bit lonely. So I, I brought in um, donkey and um, also, I brought in this painting of a candle and I want to devote and dedicate the song for those that are suffering right now during this COVID time, time of uncertainty and volatility. Um, for those that um, have been struck by tragedy due to COVID, um, for those that are in long, long haul COVID symptoms. And um, I want to say that you are not alone. Um, we walk humbly in solidarity during this uh, difficult time. So here's Broken Vessels, and it's a song written by two singer-songwriters. I want to acknowledge them. Their names are Jonas Myron and Joel Houston. <laughs> Was lost, but 
Thank you for listening. Singing is a part of my self-care. I do it when I need to recharge after a long day of work. Self-care isn't that easy for all of us, so that's why Behold Counseling has designed a special resource called the Self-Care Cocoon. In it, you'll find four steps that helps you clarify how to come into radical self-honesty. Step one, is an invitation to reflect and identify the areas of your life where you find it challenging to install some self-care. Step two, we look at writing down specific steps for your self-care plan and to begin to actually schedule it in in the season of your life. Step three is all about finding who in your ecosystem of trust can you bring into your self-care strategy and to find sources of inspiration, motivation, and accountability. Step four is just a gentle reminder of how we can celebrate each small step in the work of self-care, which ultimately not only serves us, but helps us to sustain the course of how we come alongside others. This is particularly supportive for those that are on the front lines during this COVID crisis. We especially want to honor doctors, nurses, technicians, other healthcare workers, teachers, primary caregivers. There's a time to recharge in your cocoon and there's a time to soar. It's a cycle and a rhythm that we hope the self-care cocoon can inspire you towards a lifestyle that is sustainable, healthy, and holistic.